Hello, Clice here, Treasure Adventure World. In the last part, um... Oh yeah, I finally realized that the fact that you can raise and lower that one boat actually is meaningful. So, uh, we ended up getting a legendary treasure. Um, and in this part, my plan was to just head left a lot. We're wanting to loop back around to the main city. Also, I apparently have the long load times from the start of this episode. I mean, I know there are a few quests in the tree, but I don't want to do them. Yeah, I especially don't want to do them with these loads, because um, the tree has so many small rooms. I don't know what to do about that ice still. Is there like a secret here? No? I probably checked that before. To break the sequence, take the other direction. In a new game plus. Interesting. How many lockpicks do I have? One. And I have a lot of coins actually. Yeah, we'll buy up to three. See, I don't think I have any need to go into that castle again. I hit up the save just to refill my health. I did take two damage, or maybe one and a half. What's your deal? Should go visit the castle. You used to have parties, yeah. Okay. Wait, there's a ghost up there. Did you know that the great hero Huayne was from this city? Came here as a youth and studied magic, even though his family was against it. When the demon came to destroy the world, he set out on a quest to stop it. He's a true hero, and I'm proud to have known him. Okay. I'm gonna break into this house in front of you. Possibly your house. It's a bug ghost. Hi, from <laughs> When we were alive, Midge and I ran a very successful general store. Those were the good days. It took me a long time to accept that my old life is gone. Midge, on the other hand, won't give up his dream of running the S-Mart. What is he thinking? We haven't had a customer in a hundred years. I'm gonna steal whatever treasure you have in the top. It's a nav pearl! Contains the coordinates for the location of a legendary treasure. Alright. No, oh, it's even the next legendary treasure. So I'll definitely be wanting to investigate that. I think it was just like one island over. Uh, yeah, I should probably talk to all the ghosts. Okay, the city of Poveglia was once a haven for the peaceful humans and animals of the world. We accepted those who practiced magic as well as those who studied science. Animals and humans now segregate themselves and are afraid of each other. It's really a shame, but I see you two are quite close. It makes me happy to see that. Hey, Peepa and I are not that close. We just happen to have common goals, that's all. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> see this old lighthouse? My dad told me when it's lit during the night, its beacon shines to the horizon. If you could sail to that point and dive to the ocean floor, you'd find a sunken treasure. I always wanted to see if that was true. Oh yeah, I guess I haven't been inside the lighthouse since getting the elemental bottle. There was probably a puzzle in here. So you probably want to kill the enemies first. What? Oh, I got my first batwing specimen. I can't move yet. It had to actually get collected. Funny, potentially annoying though, if you were above something deadly. The game keeps running when you get a specimen. And it is a random drop. 
that could surprise you. So we've, we've cleared the way. Let's grab some fire. Oop. Okay. We still had a chance. Oop. Oh. That's awkward. Oh. I get the joke. Okay, it doesn't matter that I wasn't facing upward. Alright, we did it. The lighthouse is now lit for when we get diving gear. Ah oh, yes, these jerks. I believe we're now getting close to Legendary Treasure 5. Okay, but this island's in the way. There's a fire bat! There are multiple of them. Oh, they don't die in one hit, unlike the bats that were in the lighthouse. Because I could just stand where I was and mash the attack button. This is... Okay, this is near treasure 12. I, mean, I know there's not strictly an order to them. But that's the order they are in the menu. And I don't have a better way to refer to it. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, this is in fact the place. So let's see what we can do. Oh, I haven't come here yet with the elemental bottle. Yes, I remember this place. Resave, because you never know when you're gonna get the opportunity to fill your hit points. Uh, let's kill enemies first. Are there just like random fire bats everywhere in the world because I have four treasures? Does the world just like gradually upgrade? Or perhaps it's merely because it's at night that there are stronger enemies or something. Probably way overhealed with that carrot, but um. There are two other things buried there. Okay, didn't overshoot the mushroom this time. Got our fire. Can light this. Oh, it's safe to stand on while it's lit. Okay. Oh, and then you use the barrel to cross the water without your boat ruining your bottle. Because that is a thing that the boat does for some reason. You can't just keep holding the bottle. I'm glad that stayed dug out. Would it, it wouldn't have been a big deal to redo stuff. I guess I should say shot out rather than dug out, because I did in fact cannon it. Alright. Money? Must be coming in on some sort of like spider territory? That's what I'm guessing the white stuff is related to. I don't know, maybe it's just like white moss. Wait a minute. This place.
He's in fact vaguely familiar. Okay, it was safe to just drop. Wasn't sure. Ow. Well, not a problem. Oh, you can move sideways in the bubble. Ow. Don't know if that's a thing I was aware of. Oh. I thought the bubble would pop before I actually took damage from... Huh? I had to jump. Oh, I think the bubble disappeared, but I was still in it. Like that feel when you're in an invisible bubble. Yeah. Okay, we seem to have reached the bottom. I think it's not taking damage. Hey, it's our friend the return man. What is this place? Can you understand me? Ever since my spy plane flew into that vortex, I've been lost in time and space. Now I'm trying to find a way home. I worked out how to utilize these portals for myself, but no matter how many portals I find, they never take me home. This one, for example, only goes up to the surface. It's useless to me, but if you'd like to go to the surface, I can activate it. Nah, I don't want to accidentally run into it while I'm doing puzzle stuff. Alright. Hello, Mushroom Man. You're not from around here. I do sense a familiarity, however. Did you come to expand your mind? Maybe you've run across some of my more energetic brethren? They're fantastreams, and they won't hurt you. Far from it. They want you to see what you cannot see. That is their only purpose in this incarnation. Once they help someone, they pass on to another dimension. Give them a chance to help you and find what you are looking for. I might have misread some lords, but it's fine. We got the gist. Alright. So yeah, there's pretty clearly nowhere I can go on my own from here. You found a specimen! Mushroom cap! I guess I got the drop on the very first one that died. Oh, I was expecting reverse controls so much that I, uh... did the wrong thing, because your controls are just forward. Um... Also, I believe during the celebration of the mushroom cap, the duration ran down because the game keeps running while you're getting specimens for some reason. Alright, I'd like you to come over here so I get as much duration as possible. Oop. Oh. Yeah, because they also cease to exist when you can no longer see them. Oh, hello. Halt, strangers. Are you with the metal creatures who've invaded our homes and kidnapped our kin? Whoa, no, we're just here, on vacation. Hmm, you don't have metal skin, but you do look rather suspicious. You'll have to excuse Bleedus here, he's a little on edge lately. We've been invaded by some hor horrible metallic creatures. If you come across any, do yourself a favor and run. They are nasty. Now out of our way. As Skullcap warriors, it is our duty to hunt down and destroy every last one of those me metallic monstrosities. Enjoy your vacation, strangers. Okay. So I assume that's the robot that we saw earlier. But, like, there will be more of them. Gogondo likes smoke. <laughs> okay, just swapping the D's and G's in Dodongo, which dislikes smoke. Can stun it in Zelda 1 with the smoke from a bomb and then slice it to get bomb drops. Okay, so we need to light that fire to make smoke. I don't think I'm going to be hitting those anytime soon. Not unless I have an attack that goes vertically, like fire. Hmm. That didn't help me at all. I was expecting platforms leading upward. But what's in this house? Uh, 
I don't understand. Maybe it's because I... Oh, okay, it's because I was under the mushroom effect. The thirst. The crave for fluids resulting in the basic instinct to drink. Like an endless desert. One can seek water, but one can... But can one wait for water to find them? Side quest. Water for Saul. Hmm. Okay, so there's really nothing over here if I'm... Mushroomed. Perhaps I've got to lead the mushroom to the right. We're going on an adventure. And also a vacation, apparently. This might be far enough. Or maybe that one's just useless. Maybe it's just so that you'll see the text distortion. Huh? What's this? It's nothing. Amazing. There's a note. Bubbletron instruction manual. Instructions for use. The Bubbletron is very easy to operate. One, add water. Two, enjoy endless bubbles. Okay, so that must be the machine that was to the left. And we can sleep here. Saved. Alright, so we're on the search for both water and fire. Too bad we're not looking for religion, the wheel, and fire. Because the spathy would have us set. Okay, can't grab onto that. Gotta deal with bees and Bubbletron. Can I carry water through a bubble? I can. Interesting. Ah, run from the bee! Oh. <laughs> I tried to hit B to open the chest and just sprayed the water. Found jump boots! Press D pad down and A to perform a high jump attack. Oh wow, it's like literally the Kirby ability. And we're here again. Perhaps we can get to the upper reaches of something though. Oh, like there. It's water. That's all that's around here. Well, I believe we can make it to the other Bubbletron from this point. With water still in our hands. Yeah, because it's just like off to the left here. Oh. I have made a horrible mistake. Or have I? Oh, we're fine. It's full of water now. I'm ready for bubbles. Pushing up doesn't make the bubble rise faster, by the way. I verified it experimentally. Music's pretty good. Although one of the instruments really reminds me of the, um, touch fuzzy get dizzy sound effect. I mean, appropriate. But it's touch fungus get dizzy. Wait, I may have wanted to grab fire before climbing up here. Oh wow, you also don't get much duration off that. Or wait, I think I had to grab the first block I touched. Have you been enjoying the mind-opening power of the Fantish Rooms? It can be a little intense for some. Here's some advice. If a Fantish Room gets too hot, they will expel a substance that's less intense and longer-lasting. 
Seems pretty useful to know. And yeah, I can't grab fire and bring it with- oops. Okay, I think we probably just refreshed the duration there. Grab some fire. Oh, let's uh, push a block first. Wait. Can I push a block while I'm holding fire? Because once I push this block. Oh, wait, I have high jump. <laughs> Alright. Where all did I need to take fire? It didn't have a use over here. I think just to the right is the, uh, Gogondo. Yeah. Alright. What else do I need fire for? I believe that wasn't it. Well... Let's at least put it down there, and then we'll see if the Gugondo rises to anywhere interesting. No, you just... you just stay in there? Cool. gonna need to do this. I don't know what I'll need that fire for. Well, I'm the best platformer. Or rather, I just let go of the direction too early, so I didn't grab on. I think just going left here is faster. So, do I need you to be long-lasting for any reason? I don't remember seeing more blinky platform. Oh, wait. No, I've taken this path before. It just led me to the red chest. Oh, but I can high jump here. And I probably needed the extended duration for this part. Oh! That's awkward. Alright, maybe some of this can be done faster with high jumps. Rather than having to grab onto the sides of blocks. Oop. All right, we made it. All right, here's a door. There was also an up path. Oh. Looks like some variety of shortcut. I can't really tell where I am at all, though. Oh, this room. Okay. I acknowledge the shortcut, but that's not the way we want to go. Some basic platforming. Oh, you can bounce on them. Okay, noted. Brown vines do, in fact, uncurl if you stay on them too long. Save point. I'm probably coming up on a boss fight against a robot. I vaguely remember one of those existing in the game. Although I don't remember how to fight the thing. Oh, hey. Stand back, kid. This is the mother of those little metal monstrosities. Boop, threat anali uh, analyzed. Level zero, beep. 
She looks dangerous. Maybe we should retreat and get back up. We'll never retreat. I'll teach this metal monster a lesson for invading our home. Bleed us. How dare you. Now taste my blade, you beast. All right, that looked pretty successful. Ah, she's too powerful. Run, kid. Get out of here. To where? Crabby fungi collector. Hmm. Anything useful looking anywhere in the arena? Not really. I mean, that button on top is very conspicuous, but I'm not sure how I would... Um... Ever jump on it. I do have high jump. I need to remember that. I don't know if high jump even existed in the original game. Oh. Uh, okay. You melee attack it, you don't jump on it. Yeah, somehow the hands coming down made me think it was preparing for a big attack, not like it was vulnerable. I guess I hadn't quite registered yet that the, the uh, electricity laser thing was what was blocking me from jumping on top to begin with. Oh, you're not done. Also, high jump isn't even needed for the fight, because you can just actually walk on it. Beep, enemy pattern learned. Beep, running attack sequence beta 2. Beep. Alright. So your pattern has changed in some way. Oh! Okay. You did something different with your laser. I'm mildly impressed. I should probably just be spamming attacks, because your hook starts above you and we'll deal with some of them. Oh! Hey kid, don't worry, we're fine. You're doing great, keep it up. We're stuck back here, but we'll try to find a way to help you. Sounds good. Oh, that one. They've like threw something from the background. Huh. Apparently, the fungus makes his laser disappear because he turns into a crab. That makes all the sense. I guess I probably don't even... Oh, I do need the blocks, because the crab has its pincers raised. Uh, this is awkward. Alright, so I might not want to go for that when I'm, um... Okay, you actually do need to time your defense, even with the quick swing. Um, let's see, I was saying something. Oh yeah, when I've got less than like a third of the arena left and the enemy is coming towards me, I probably don't want to actually um, collect the mushroom. Oh, it being away and having the whole arena doesn't seem great either. I think I do need it coming at me when I collect the mushroom. It just can't be that close, or... I don't know. I also need to remember that uh, high jump is down and jump, not up and jump. I messed that up a couple times during the fight. But anyway, we got him. You did it! Way to go, kid! Come visit us again so we can give you a proper warrior's hurrah! Good luck on your travels! Alright. I've inconveniently finished the fight on, like, the exact opposite end of the arena from the door. I dug instead of high jumped. <laughs> Alright, we're at the 31 minute mark. Oh, achievement unlocked. Massive damage. But, um, yeah, I've probably cut enough in loads that we can at least grab the treasure and... Maybe we advance a couple more screens to the left. Found a legendary treasure. Gem of rock... 
<laughs> rapid oxidation, not rocket raxidation. Alright, and I have the next nav pearl. Yo, oh, it's another island to the left. Adventure! Except, yeah, I'm just gonna save at the next save point. But, uh, another episode that went well? We got a legendary treasure. What's the complaint about that? No. Oh. Wait, this island? No. Uh, I'm always thrown off by how fast the map moves when you select a nav pearl. That I like, I keep thinking it's like, oh yeah, that that moved by one island, right? I guess on the other hand, the only thing- wait, no, we got more than just the legendary treasure, we got high jump. Where does high jump appear on our menu anyway? Ah, it's our first jump upgrade, apparently, or boot upgrade. I wonder if these are going to be dash shoes or double jump. Ah, we have reached the town. I would like to turn in my numies before I save and quit. That will be the last thing that happens, though. Let's see, it wasn't the pawn shop, was it? Hmm. Yep. Not the library. What's this building? Slater apartment. Wait, maybe. Maybe my map tells me. Oh, the Numis were on the lower area. Untranslated scrolls were at the library. I guess I do have a couple scrolls. We'll do those two. Hey there. Did you find any ancient scrolls yet? Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Translating ancient scrolls is one of my many hobbies, you know? Now just give me a minute and I'll figure out what this says. Hmm, interesting. Ah, I see. This is an old dialect. And there, I've updated your notes. You can view my translation from your collection. Thank you for bringing that to me. Translating old text always gets my heart racing. Bring me some more scrolls to translate, I'll give you a nice reward. Do you have a deal? Didn't I have two? Apparently the answer is no. <laughs> oh, we have the controls scroll. Right. I don't remember if I read that before. Okay, Scroll of Otis, creator of Insecta. Concerned for self-determination, virtuous through humility and harmony. Alright, but we have like seven of the twelve Numis. That's got to be worth something, right? I mean, the collector said they'd be excited if they could even see one. <laughs> okay, I guess it was the pawn shop. Hey there, guy. You have more enemies for me to appraise? Quickly, let me see. Fascinating. Oh, very unusual. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Hmm, now what does that mean? Oh, excuse me, I got a little carried away there. Yes, this is a fine specimen. I will update your notes with my appraisal. You can read it when viewing your collection. I've appraised at least six numies, and that means you are owed a prize. Let's see, what do I have here? Aha! You're going to love this. You can wear it as a hat to protect your head. It also makes great daikon soup. Oh, you found a pot hat. Cookware, turned headwear, protects against projectiles. I mean, if it does something, I'll certainly wear it. Oh, defense plus one, attack minus one, protects against projectiles. Eh, considering our defense was lower than our offense, I'll take the exchange. Also, protects against projectiles is a nice bonus. Alright. Uh, now I just need to find a save. I don't think I've already run across one in the town. Maybe just on the up upper floor? Yeah, come on. Okay. Eh! I keep thinking I've already grabbed on, and then I don't know why I hit the other direction anyway. Yeah. 
Eat the rich. No sharks. See, safe points aren't marked on the map, are they? Oh, it's you. Oh. You can't grab onto the side of the building. Save points, though? Save points? Hmm. Well, I'll climb up the clouds again, I guess. Talk to the cat. Get a nice story, I think we were promised. You know, as we're already at 37 minutes. I think this episode I've really only cut loads so far. Oh, you can't high jump out of a cloud. Got it. Fellow travelers, have you met Tony Ward? Trust me, you don't want to. I saw the famous CEO walking down the street one day and I introduced myself. He gave me a disgusted look and kept on walking. I could swear that for a flash his eyes turned dark red. It still creeps me out. That's one disturbed and bitter man. Anyway, until I see you again, good luck on your journey. What a nice story. Uh, but seriously, this town has no save point? I felt like all towns needed save points in games with save points. Maybe there was one in a building. I don't want to investigate all the buildings. I think there was a save point at that house. Also, it's on our way to our next destination anyway. So we'll just throw more on this episode, and then we'll be closer to starting real stuff next episode. Actually, can I buy the house? I might buy the house, just because we're there. It was like a thousand coins, right? Okay, it's a steal at only a thousand coins. Yeah, I'll buy it. You bought a house! Side quest complete. A home, house away from home. It looks a little run down, but we can save at the bed. Those are our newbies. It's a collection house. A house that shows collection. Alright. For a second, I wasn't sure if a cutscene was going to play with the way it faded out. But, uh, that will be it for this part. See ya!